In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this king chess piece. Before doing this tutorial, you need to have done my pawn chess piece tutorial. I have jumped ahead and set up the background image and set its size to 2.5. Add mesh cylinder. Press S to scale, Z for the Z direction, 0.1 and enter. The ratio of the width of the base of the king compared to the base of the pawn is one and a quarter to one. So press S to scale, 1.25 and enter. Change shading to wireframe and use the tip of the blue arrow to move the cylinder down. I've jumped ahead, I've extruded and scaled to match the background image. I'm just going to finish the top. Zoom in with the mouse wheel, pan, shift and mouse wheel. Drag to close the tool shelf. Now there's quite a lot of curvature, so I'm going to go up in small steps. Press E to extrude and S to scale. Press E to extrude and S to scale. Press E to extrude and S to scale. For the next part we have to extrude inwards so press E to extrude immediately followed by enter. Use the mouse cursor line it up horizontally with the outside edge, press S to scale, move the mouse pointer to the inside edge and click, press E to extrude and move up. To make the cross at the top, first I'm going to press A twice to select all and in the mesh menu show hide, hide selected. So I've hidden the rest of the model so that I can focus on the top. I'm going to add vertices to make the cross. It's very important before adding vertices to go into vertex select mode. To add a vertex at the mouse pointer hold down the control key and if you haven't swapped the mouse buttons over it's left click. To add the next vertex, I'm going to press E to extrude and click. E to extrude, E to extrude. Don't worry about the exact placement of the vertices. It's very easy to fine tune the position afterwards. For the final vertex, go close to but to the right of the Z axis. To fine tune the position of the vertices, you can use the tips of the arrows. I'm going to duplicate the vertices and flip them over to the other side. Press A twice to select all. To duplicate, hold down Shift, press D and Enter. I want to rotate the duplicate about the Z axis, but at the moment the pivot point is here. So I'm going to change the pivot point to the 3D cursor. Press R to rotate, Z for the Z axis, 180 and enter. Select the vertex, hold down shift and select the opposite vertex in the mesh menu, edges, make edge, notice the shortcut key is F. I'm going to select shift select F and link all the opposite vertices. I'm going to do this by hand because there's not that many to do and I can ensure that the model has all quad faces which is generally desirable. Select, shift select, F to make edge, shift, select, F, and I'm going to join these with an edge, and 
here as well. Press A twice to select all. Press F this time to make faces. Change the view to the right view. Press E to extrude, point 3 and enter. Press A twice to select all. Press G to grab, Y for the Y direction, minus 0.15 and enter. Change the view back to the front view. Put the pivot point back to the medium point. Use the tip of the blue arrow to move the cross down a tiny amount. In the mesh menu, go to show hide, show hidden. And while I'm in edit mode, mesh, normals, recalculate outside. Go into object mode, change the shading to solid, click the plus to open up the tool shelf and change shading to smooth. In the properties window, we see the model has scale values. In the object menu, apply scale. In the object menu, transform the origin to the center of mass. Remember to give your models meaningful names. And finally, do I add the edge split modifier? Well, if I click the eye icon, that is without, that is with the modifier, with smooth shading, you certainly get a smooth, sharp model. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the background image file and the finished model for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk Click the link for Blender there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.